Today in Sugar Grove, you can take part in Illinois' largest blood drive. I'm joined now by Kristen Benedict, founder of Pint for Kim and younger sister of Kim Sanford. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for talking with us. Talk to us just about, uh, on a personal level, uh, how this came to be and the story behind it. Yeah, so um, my sister passed away in March of 2020, but in the two months leading up to that, she needed so many blood transfusions. And even during surgery once, um, they came out and they told us that they were out of her blood type, so they had to use the universal donor blood. And that's really when we realized how important it is. We sort of take it for granted. Um, we didn't know that the largest use of donated blood goes to cancer patients. And so once we learned that, we thought we really need to spread this message because Everyone knows someone who has cancer and you don't know how to help them, you feel helpless. And this is something that you can do. It takes less than an hour. And you're gonna help someone be able to be strong enough to go through their treatments and go into remission. So she died two years ago, correct? She did, so it was our third annual blood drive. And um, how did you become the largest uh, blood drive <laughs> in just that short amount yeah. of time? I mean um, two, like two ways. So <laughs> one would be that anyone who knew Kim, I mean, you were immediately touched by her. She was just so selfless. And so she, her legacy carries on in that way. Um, unfortunately she planned to be at the first, the first blood drive, but she passed away five days prior. Mm. And she asked that instead of a wake, we have the blood drive. Mm. And so the first one set the state record. And then last year we moved to JA air center. I actually had to duck into the pilot lounge because we've got vans and food trucks and so much stuff going on out there. Um, there's plane rides, like you can have free plane rides. So I'm like, I have to find somewhere quiet. Um, so we are back here and hoping to break the record once again. Unbelievable. So uh, talk to us about this event. I'm sure it's a little different than two years ago. Yeah, I, two years ago, it's like I said, it's sort of a blur because it was five days after she passed away, but it was still an amazing event with so many people that came out. And what we've really tried to do this year and last year, but even more so this year is, so it's a blood, we, we're collecting blood. It's a blood donation location, first and foremost, but we also want it to be a life-saving festival. Like donating blood shouldn't be this kind of serious, somber thing. I mean, you're saving lives. So we want to celebrate that. And so that's why we turn it into this one day festival. It's totally free and family friendly and open to the public. There's an inflatable area for uh, kids to play in. Like I said, plane rides, car show. There's a free raffle. It's only for blood donors. You have to donate blood. We don't sell tickets. And there's over $30,000 of donated prizes. So. We really just turn it into this huge celebration. All right, let's talk to those people that are a little leery of donating blood, right? Maybe if it, for one reason or another, it's my blood, I need it. Maybe it's the needle. Do you have a message for them? I do, and actually no one in my family had ever donated until we saw that Kim needed, you know, 40 something pints. And we were like, wow, this has to be coming from somewhere. Um, so the whole process, you're in and out in less than an hour, but of that, you're only actually donating for about five minutes. So don't let the hour part scare you. Um, I'm a bit of a baby, but I, so if I can do it, you can do it. And you're, you're really giving someone the gift of life. How can people help? Um, first of all, just come on down. We are here. We take our last walk in until 3.30 today out at JA Air Center. You can go to a pintforkim.com. You can read more about blood donation there. I have a bunch of facts. There's actually a ton of health benefits to donating blood, so you can read that as well. Um, but yeah, just come on out. If you can't join us here today, find your local blood center. We're at a critical low down to a one-day blood supply in this area. So if you can hop over to your nearest blood center wherever you are, um, that's going to help save someone's life. All right. Well, thank you so much for talking with us this morning. Kristen Benedict, the founder of Pint for Kim. Appreciate your time. Good message. Thank you for having us. Thank you.